Hello everyone, this is Kyle from WeTech Care Review, and today I'm going to show you how in Power Apps you can populate a drop down with two values concatenated together in the drop down list. So, as you can see here, I've got a SharePoint list with a lot of different fields in, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring a couple of these fields together when you select on that drop down to be shown in the results as one long string. Now, I'll show you two different ways to do this, um, and let's just get straight into it. So. As you can see here, I've just got a drop down, an empty drop down, which I've just added, uh, and I've already connected to that SharePoint list as the data source. Now, what I will do is in the items value, what we want to add is I'm going to do a sort by columns. Open bracket, and I'm going to do add column. I'll put all of this code in the description of the video. Add columns. Um, and then we want to connect to our data source. So in our example, it's test vendors, select that. Now, next, we want to call this new field a uh, name. So as I said, we're going to take multiple different fields, and then we're going to make one long value to populate this. So just for this example, I'm going to call the field full description. You want to do that in your double quotations. And then another comment, and then next is the expression. So this is where we want to concatenate the values. So I'm going to do a concatenate, and then I'm going to pull those values from the list. So for this example, I'll just use vendor name, uh, department, and I'll do the contact email as well. Uh, so the vendor name, I know I've used the title field for that, so I'll call that title. Then I'm going to do a comment, and this is where we just keep adding to that. So let me do a invert comma space. And then pull our next value in, which can be department. Um, that's a choice field, so it'll be department.value. Um, and then I said I'll pull the email in as well. Okay, so if we close those brackets, so that'll close the concat, then we want to close the add columns, and then because we're putting this into a sort by columns, we want to also put the field that we wanted to sort by. So I'm going to do another comma there. And then the fields I'm going to sort it by, we'll just do it by the title field because that's fair. So let me close that. Okay, so we've got no errors with that. So if I just now select on the value that this is doing, if I now click down on that, we should see full description there. So that's the new fields we've added where we're concatenating those three values. So if I just select full description, and there you can see it's already populated with that data. So now... As you can see, the first one, we've got Amazon Accounting and Mr. Boss Bezo, Amazon Mr. Boss Accounting, and there you can see all of those records populated. Now, that works for the drop-down. It also works exactly the same for a combo box. Um, you just need to change the edit and then set your two values to be the, the full description field, so it's, it's pretty much the same. Uh, and then there's one other way that I'm going to show you how to do this, and I guess it depends on the situation. Uh, I needed to do it this other way, just depends on the app that I was building. Um, basically, what I'm going to do is in the app on start, I am going to create a collection from that SharePoint list, and I'm just going to add that custom column in into that collection along with the SharePoint list data. So I'll put this in the description as well, but I'm going to do a clear collect. Then I'll just call this, so this is the name of our collection, I'll just call it item collection call. And then again, we want to just do that add columns, so we don't need to do the sort by. Um, so add columns, the data source we want, which was test vendors. And then the name we want to call it, I'll just call it full description again. And then concatenate. Concatenate title. I'll just do the department for this one just so you can see the example and um, we'll close the parentheses there we go okay so that's going to create the collection it's going to take all of that data from the test vendors list and then it's also going to add that custom column and then populate that custom column with the concatenated value of the title which is the vendor name and the department uh, so now if i select this Actually, what we need to do is we want to run the app on start just so I can get that data populated. And then I'm just going to change the 
uh, data source on this. I'll just add a new combo box. Uh, there's our item collection there. So if I just populate that, that collection, now if I run that, oh, still empty. Let me just run that on start again. No errors. Okay, yeah, okay. So here, okay, yeah. So because I've added the combo box, like I said before, you can select edit. Uh, and then we want to just set that to the custom field, so full description. Now that should work. If I run this, there we go. So it's brought in Amazon accounting, as I just did the title and the department. Um, and there you go. So that's how you can cat concatenate two different ways. Uh, I hope this video has helped. Uh, if you like this video and this content, I'll stick up two links here. So as you can see, we've got um, an invoice generator mini series that we've built from scratch using Power Apps Power Automate. That's a good series to go and do. Also, you'll see there's another Power App uh, if you're using, if you want to put a nice design on your apps. Uh, we've focused a lot on design on, on this Canvas app for a form. But yeah, I hope this video helps. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Take care. Thank you.